This video is going to be for diamond shape eyelids. Um, so the technique would be very similar to um, the eyelid technique that we used for eyelids and ribs. Only here, we're just going to place the eyelids in a certain pattern, which will be sort of a single unit for lace pattern if you decide to continue it. So the chart shows you all the steps that you need to do to come up with that specific diamond shape design. You have to cast on exactly 25 stitches and knit the first row. So on this chart, unlike the charts that we were looking at before, I'm giving you all the steps as they are. So the first step is all knit stitches, which I already did. And then now I'm switching hands. I'm on the pearl side. So this is row number two, and you can see they're all pearls. You always count from the right, right? So you transfer the first stitch, you pearl the last one. This is all built in. And on this chart here, you can literally count the stitches. The only difference comparing to the ribs and eyelets would be that the order of steps would be different every time. So for example, step one, it's yarn over them two together. And then step four, it's two together, yarn over, one stitch in between, yarn over, two together. So that would be probably a little tricky, but we're gonna look at it. So we are now at step two because I already did step number one. And we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 pearl stitches. Transfer counts as 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. We are exactly at this step here, right? Exactly at the point which is supposed to be in the middle of, of our stitch. So my chart shows yarn over, then two together. I'm doing yarn over and then two together. Then the balance of the stitches, you don't have to count. So simply purl to the end. So purl and purl, the last one is always switch hands. Now next one is going to be all knit stitches. Let's do that quickly. So I'm showing you knit, purl, this is what we just did. Next step, all knit stitches. So all knit stitches. Let me move a little bit faster. Again, once you get to your yarn over, don't forget to make your, your eyelid stitch a certain way, right? You want to pick up the stitch from the top of the needle and make nice big hole here. Otherwise, all your efforts will be lost. Okay. And we're going to go all the way to the end with our knit stitches. And purl the last one. So always purl the last one. Again, switch hands. Step number four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then two together. So let's count. One counts, one transfer counts as one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, what do I have on my chart? I have two together here. Beautiful. So two together pearl wise. 
yarn over. So you're doing your yarn over. Then there is one stitch in between. Okay, so one purl in between. Next step, yarn over, then two together. So yarn over, then two together. So the whole secret of making this shape successfully is follow the chart exactly. Um, I'm going to do one more pass. Okay. Oops, lost some of my stitches here. So I'm going to do one more pass, but I know I already have one um, eyelet right in the middle, and then these two yarn overs will make two more eyelets. Let's see how that happens. So now we are on the knit side. I'm going to knit all of them. So the knit side, just simply make all the knit stitches and make sure that your eyelets are opened. Okay, and the eyelet open. Already you can see how my um, eyelets are forming the beginning of that diamond shape. So these are all eyelets. And just one more step that I'm going to do with you, and then we're just going to discuss the chart a little bit and done. Let's see. Yep, very, very nice. One in the middle, one on the sides. So it's one in the middle and two on the sides, right? We are back on the pearl side. So that would be step six. Where you can count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then two together. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two together as per chart right so i'm doing two together yarn over and then my chart is showing that between these two yarn overs there are three stitches so that's your clue we're gonna do three pearl stitches here and then again yarn over and two together as per chart and the balance of the stitches you don't need to count right so the stitches on the left of your chart with all the luck they should just work out so that's my pearl side and yeah it seemed to be working out just fine um so on this chart here might take you a few minutes to make that whole shape you really have to pay attention first of all you're going to be counting the stitches right to left up to your first either yarn over or two together so as you can see they're creating a diamond shape on the chart and it should be diamond shape on your swatch so up to here it's going to be the same you have yarn you have two together yarn over then you can count the stitches in between yarn over two together after this row here again the order of operations changes you have yarn over then two together then stitches in between two together yarn over so in order for us to create the shape successfully the chart needs to be followed exactly um and then on top here you're gonna have one two together and two yarn overs on the side which was actually created in order to have the very last hole exactly in the center let's just look again at the shape that we are aiming to create right so as per chart it has to be a diamond shape created with eyelids.